tense as a snack stick. I haven't seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information, and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The Peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks. Especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our Guildmaster would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. The ship the other day. Man, is that guy lost in the sauce? Bye. Not be a man of anything that Do you agree? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I recognize your uniform. Um, you're one of those carriers, right? Sure am. Need a message delivered? No, I'm in the market for information, not sending it. And nothing I can do for you. Yeah, so I hear. But uh, maybe your boss can help me. Our guildmaster. Driscoll? Maybe. I don't know. He has the authority, but you'd have to be a very special case. I don't know about me, but what I'm after is important. You can try to speak to Driscoll, but don't get your hopes up. Story of my life. Where can I find him? In a headquarters, on downtown court, inside the metro station that bears the same name. You'll know it when you see it. And Driscoll, <laughs> you can't miss him. That sounds good. Thanks a lot. I'm looking for the Guildmaster. Driscoll, I was told. Well, that would be me. And who are you? It's not often I see an unfamiliar face. Not from around here, I gather. No, and I'm looking for work. Sorry, pal, but this is a special organization. You can't just waltz in off the street and get a job here. I'm not waltzing. I don't even dance. You think a smart mouth like that's gonna help you get work? Sorry, I'm, I'm just new. To everything. I just need to get to know the city, and from what I heard, this seemed to be the best way to do it. And to make an honest wage. And I was a pilgrim, if that helps. A pilgrim, you see? I've heard about your kind. It's hardly a recommendation. <sighs> Look, you said you were a special group. What's so special about the Carrier's Guild? We work for the people, not just for cash on the barrel head. Carriers deliver packages and letters all over the city. I did a lot of that as a pilgrim. It's a valuable service. It's priceless. And not just because of the fees we collect, you merc. Packages and letters are information. Information is the lifeblood of a society. It's also the connective tissue. Brings people together. And it can tear them apart. Yeah, I definitely get that. Yeah, I like hell you do. Pilgrims are just pure play. You don't have any higher purpose. But carriers, the carriers are the trusted stewards of this system of information and connection. In our way, we safeguard society, protect and defend information. We keep people connected to one another. I see what you mean. It sounds like a huge responsibility. Damn right it is. Which is why not every Tom, Dick, Harry, or oh, shady pilgrim is cut out to be a carrier. Please, I just want to help. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, you can just bugger off. Have yourself a wonderful day.
my crazy crew. This is Siva. I have an amazing opportunity for you. A three-year subscription to the most popular VOD service, whose name I can't say here, but you'll know it when you see it. <laughs> for half price, and it's the full premium package. Add on to that a collection of the most popular lifestyle shows, including Lobster in a Hundred Ways, The Travel Channel, and Private Oasis of Luxury. I don't think I need to mention a couple of adult channels. <laughs> Access to all the latest blockbusters in 4K and HDR. Sure, there hasn't been a lot of new production lately, but that virus is going to peter out just like the one before it. Stop thinking about it. Just go for it, because I got a lot of people who are nibbling at the hook already. This special offer won't last long. Act now, and I mean right now, and I'll throw in a massage chair with a bonus in gently used condition. Come on, give me a call now, or you'll be kicking yourself tomorrow. Hey, are you sure you don't need me? Looks like you're running low on carriers. Aye, things have gotten more dangerous than usual lately. Maybe I'm trying to do you a favor by not bringing you in at this particular juncture. I'm a pilgrim. I know danger. Outside the walls, danger. Oh, do you now? I tell you what. How about I give you a little test, and we see how that goes? Works for me. Test away. Okay, hotshot. Let's see what you're made of. First, you need to make your way to the top of a building nearby and bring back a package that was left by one of ours. Should be lying somewhere by a tent. Is that all? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Got it. That was easy. That was quick. Not bad. That was a test. I barely broke a sweat. Hey, don't get cocky, hotshot. That was just a primer. As you'd guess, delivering messages will take you through areas swarming with infected. And sometimes, at night. For this test, you'll need to pick up five letters that were dropped in a dark zone when the previous carrier was being chased by the infected. You'll need real skills just to survive, let alone succeed. Piece of cake for a pilgrim, though, right? <laughs> yep. This sounds more my speed. I see you soon. Not bad, hot shot. Not bad. That hardly qualified as a test. Ha! This last one, mate. You come face to face with customers. This is what the job is about. Connecting people through the letters they send and receive. Reconnecting a fractured society, so to speak. This is where you prove your true worth. I can handle it. Believe it or not, I'm sort of a people person. <laughs> oh, you could have fooled me. But I have to admit you're not a fragile type. I'm starting to see some potential. Pull this off, and I might consider letting you take the carrier's oath after all. I just better not get any complaints from the clients. You won't. I promise. Hello. I'm from the Carrier's Guild. I have a letter for Barry. Mom? Mommy! It's a letter from Dad! Careful. Don't tear the letter when you open it. I won't, Mom. I swear. Bless you, Carrier. You made my son's day. I have a letter for you. Finally. I'm sorry, sir. I brought the letter as soon as it was given to me. I'm not upset with you. It's my son. Weeks without hearing from him. Thought he was dead. No concern for his father. I'm thankful for you, Carrier. At least now I know my idiot son is still alive. Carrier here. Here's a message. 
Thank you. <sighs> well, it's about time. Um, pardon? It's from my boyfriend. He's finally leaving his wife. Ah, oh, congratulations. My wife and I separated months ago. She was very understanding. I'm just glad Len finally got the courage to be honest to his wife. Now, we can get on with our lives. Hey, Driscoll. Job's done. All packages delivered safely. Well, that's what I want to hear. Come by when you can. I've got something for you. Remember, you can always take the metro to get here quicker. Good work, Hotshot. What did you think? All sorts of letters and recipients out there. It's the network, like I said. You just helped expand it. Looks like your carrier material after all. Are you ready and willing to take the oath? Uh, really? Uh, pilgrims aren't that formal, huh? Maybe that's part of your problem, Hotshot. If you want this, then you'll repeat after me. Fine. Let's do this. I, Initiate of the Carrier's Guild. I, Initiate of the Carrier's Guild. Swear to serve all the citizens of the city equally. Swear to serve all the citizens of the city equally. To face any dangers and safely deliver all mail entrusted to me. To face any dangers and safely deliver all mail entrusted to me. I will do so with the utmost honor and integrity in accordance with the standards of the Carrier's Guild. I will do so with the utmost honor and integrity in accordance with the standards of the Carrier's Guild. By the power granted me by the Carrier's Guild, I hereby proclaim you a full member. Initiate rank. Welcome to the fold, Hotshot. Let me know when you're ready to start. It's a baby carrier. So much for this being an elite group. Pilgrim? Fuck that shit. But what's your problem? You better not become my problem. For all we know, you could be the next Derek waiting to happen. The next who? What the hell are you talking about? Never you mind, baby carrier. Just keep your nose clean around here. And I'll be watching you. Great. Then you can watch me flip you the bird. Oh, great. Baby Carrier's a comedian, too. This place is going to shit. Coming from you, I guess I'm just upholding your legacy. That's just Jack. Ignore him, compañero. It doesn't look like he's gonna let me ignore him. Tranquilo. His bark is worse than his, uh... Chew? Is that the word? Me amo Jaime, by the way. Being a carrier is dangerous. We're a small group, and we rely on each other. So, you're a pilgrim. Good. You've seen and done things. Sometimes, los novatos get people killed. Aiden, did this Derek get someone killed? Luckily, no. Derek was just plain loco, an adrenaline junkie. We all take this seriously, but he was obsessed. In a way, you had to admire his dedication, even if he was fanatical. And so what happened? Turns out, the cabron was also a regular junkie. Scarfed up all the stimulants in the supply lockers like some crazed Pac-Man. Left the other carriers with tough deliveries in the lurch. What became of him? Booted out on his ass. <laughs> no room for a Scarface in the carrier's guild, amigo. Recipe for death and disaster. Let me guess. Jack led the campaign against Derek. And he was very effective, amigo. I'm sure he was. I'm ready, Driscoll. Got an assignment for me? Well, I do, but first let me lay some carrier history on you. Okay. I'm a bit of a history buff, like. 
Did you know that the first documented postal system was in Egypt, around 2400 BC? I did not. Aye. It's how the pharaohs sent out decrees, creating the network. Think of the ancient tradition you're upholding just by delivering a piece of meal. I will. I, I promise. See that you do, hotshot. Now deliver this message. It's marked urgent, so I'm only sending you out with this one. Now don't get distracted. It'll get where it needs to go. Carrier's Guild here. I have a message. I wasn't expecting anything. Oh my. What's wrong? A client of mine is concerned about her unborn child. She's feeling some pain, so I'd better go and check on her. I'm a midwife, you see. Couldn't her husband have come to get you? Lord, no. She's in hiding from him. You see, the baby's not his. What he'd do if he found her? You can't tell a soul. You mustn't. I see. The secret's safe with me. Thank you. Now, excuse me, I, I must gather my things. I'm finished. Well done, Hotshot. Your first delivery was a success. Did I do the Pharaoh proud? Funny. If by Pharaoh you mean me, then I. I approve. Now come back when you're ready for more. They're not all going to be that easy. I'm back for more. That's the spirit! And before I send you on your next run, I have another history lesson for you. This time, I'm going to take you farther back to Mesopotamia. Like, uh, 9,500 years ago, when writing itself was invented. Mm, writing? Wow. Expressly for the sake of deliveries, no less. People used to order goods by sending out clear tokens. Each one had notches carved in them to show how many items they wanted. So I'd send you a clay token with three notches, and you'd send me three items, like uh, fish or hats. Aye, something like that. It's what started everything we do. Everything the Carrier's Guild is about. Oh, I guess we're not just messengers after all. No. Now take this box where it needs to go. It's fragile, so be careful. I have a package for you. What's my brother sent this time? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very funny, Angelo. What is it? A clock. A busted one. Yeah, I was careful. You did fine, son. He sent it busted. His little joke. I don't get it. My brother Angelo is a cynic. I'm 84. He's the baby of the family at just a year younger, so he sends a busted clock. Who needs a clock these days, especially at our age? What is time anymore? Do you even know what day it is, precisely? But well, not really. Right. It's just the next day after the day before, and that's how it'll go till we die. And that's funny? Okay, so Angela won't be headlining any comedy club soon, if there were any. But this old man finds him amusing. <laughs> Thank you, son. Like 
Daddy? Daddy? Is that it? No what? Got good news for you. You will tomorrow. Because tomorrow, we'll be released from the hospital. And you can meet each other. Message 2. Received April 13th, 2022. At 9. It looks like you've got another notch on your clear token, hotshot. That was an eccentric old man. Flavio? Aye. Well, he and his brother are quite a pair. Old as dirt. Probably pre-Mesopotamian. Not everyone out there is that entertaining, though. You'll see. Well, that is if you want to keep at it. Come back when you're ready for another delivery. What do you have for me this time, Professor? Professor? Ha! <laughs> You're catching on. Nice one. Today is Envelope Day. Humanity's been using envelopes since before the Egyptians made them out of papyrus. But it was the Chinese who invented paper envelopes at the suggestion of some smart guy who realized that papyrus, silk, and other materials were too darned expensive. Maybe that's why they were called cheapo. Cause that guy was a cheapo. Stands to reason. All right, hotshot. Lesson time's over. I've got some envelopes that need to go to different places. Well, you can count on me. I'm from the Carrier's Guild. Did, did our parents send you? Who is it? Shh, baby. How did you find us? That's what the Carrier's Guild does, but no one else knows. Not even whoever sent that letter. It, it's from your parents. And my dad, too. What did they say? To come home. That they forgive us. That we can work this out. Let's go, Mickey. I don't want to hide anymore. I want to go home. It could be a trap, baby. A, a trick to get us to come back and then separate us once and for all. Please, Mickey. I can't live like this. I miss my mom. But I love you, baby. I don't want them getting between us again. But, Mickey! I'm gonna leave you kids to it. Good luck. letter for you, sir. I'm sure it wasn't easy to get here. Doesn't have to be easy. I just do my job. Well, I sure am thankful for you and the Carrier's Guild. Here's a little something extra. Oh, that's not necessary. Nonsense. Take it with my thanks. Welcome back, Hotshot. I've got news for you. Uh, what now, Professor? You gonna tell me that because the Chinese invented paper, they invented the paper cut, too? I already figured that out. Are you gonna keep being a smart arse, or are you gonna listen? As of this delivery, you've been promoted from initiate to regular member of the Carrier's Guild. You deserve it, Hotshot. Keep it up, and you'll earn another rank in no time. I have to say, Driscoll, I enjoy the work. Well, that's good to hear. Because with higher rank comes higher privileges. You now have access to the guild lockers hidden around the city. We stock them full of useful supplies, so you don't have to come back here to top up. Take this key and look for our mark. Like it or not, you're one of us now, hotshot. I do like it, Professor. Thank you.
How's it hanging? I've got no deliveries. It's like people forgot how to write all of a sudden. Reporting for duty, Professor. You keep coming back like a fearful homing pigeon. You're not gonna start tying messages to my leg, are you? Nah. But I am gonna give you higher profile deliveries. I'm hearing more and more about you. The job you're doing. You're building up quite the reputation as a carrier. And in doing so, you're helping the guild to grow. We're already expanding our operations, even in this dangerous time. All that's thanks to you. Now, these tasks will require some dedication. The communications are more critical to the recipient. And sometimes, the paths are more dangerous. I can handle it. I'm sure you can, Hotshot. Now, here's one marked highly confidential. So make sure it gets to the person it's addressed to, and only that person. You can count on me. Carry yourself. I have a confidential letter for you. Thank you. I... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, dear God, no. What's wrong, ma'am? I would say it's none of your business. But I have no one else I can tell. Talking to you is like talking to a priest, right? Well, I, I suppose. I'm being blackmailed. Over what? I can't say. Not out loud. That's a filthy lie anyway. You need to help me. How? I'm going to give you some money. I want you to track down the bastard. Wait, you want me to pay off your blackmailer? Heavens no, he'll just keep asking for more. The money's for you. To kill him. Whoa. I'm a carrier, not an assassin. You must. You're the only one who can get close to him. Precisely because you're a carrier. He'll never see you coming. You sound pretty calculating. Of course. If your life were in danger, wouldn't you think of everything? Try anything to save yourself? I guess I see your point. If you don't agree, I don't know what I'll do. How could I even go on living? Please. Please. I'm begging you. Okay. Tell you what. I'll at least go meet the blackmailer. Bless you. You've saved my life. But you must go immediately, before the fiend thinks I'm trying to trick him. your blackmailing sent me. You got the money? No. I'm taking you out and making sure you never bother her again. Do you even know what she's done? It doesn't matter, but I know what you've done. You tried to extort an old woman. <sighs> How'd it go, Hotshot? That was an adventure, and a mystery to boot. Oh, do tell. Yeah, maybe another time. Suit yourself. But you did great. Keep it up and you'll rise another guild rank before you know it.
I could use more deliveries, Professor. You want them? I've got them, Hotshot. Here's a few. Are not easy to get to either. But I think you're ready. Born ready. That's what I like to hear. I have a letter for you. Ooh, nice. Just what I was hoping for. I'm glad I could be of service. I got this girl who writes me sexy letters. She's not my girl. She just does this for a living. So, you pay her to receive sexy letters? And sometimes pictures. I don't know if they're even her, but who cares? Can you blame a guy for wanting to feel desired by a hot chick? <clears throat> I can't get my neighbor to leave me alone, Benji. Sure, he's a stud, but he doesn't hold the candle to you. Just thinking of you, Benji, makes me feel warm all over. Uh, yeah, I get it. Let me leave you to it. Don't judge, kid. You probably gotta fight the chicks off at every turn. Me? Not so much. We all wanna be wanted. Even if we gotta pay for it. I understand. Uh, stay warm. Letter, sir. I'm from the Carrier's Guild. Excellent. I've been expecting you. One moment, please. Oh, yes. Very interesting, Klaus. But I see what you're playing at. Uh, sir? It's the next chess move from my friend Klaus. He's clearly attempting a Queen's Gambit. Cambridge Springs, to be exact. But I can parry that easily. Glad to hear it. Here, take this. And a little something extra for you. Klaus will be begging for mercy in no time. As much as one can be forced to do so, playing chess by mail, that is. <laughs> Got a letter for you. Janine, it's for you. It's from Angelica. In that case, burn it. But she's your best friend. Not after what she did, she kissed Pierre. So? But I kissed him first, she knows that. But honey, kissing a boy isn't like tagging a building. Why are you defending her, Mom? Why don't you ever take my side? I'm always on your side, hon. Tell you what, I'm gonna hold on to this letter, and we can talk again after you've calmed down a bit. You made it back. Thank God. How did something happen? One of our guys, Nim and Mike. He disappeared on a delivery. Another carrier gone missing. Aye. I'm really worried. A lot of good men and women have been disappearing lately. I suspect that someone's been picking them off. How can I help? Just stay alert for now. Don't let your guard down. We're running down some leads on Mike. I'll keep you posted. You'll have to check back another time. Things are quiet here today. Any news on Mike? Nothing. No clues either. You know where he disappeared? Maybe I could take a look. As a matter of fact, I do. I could use a pair of fresh eyes on this. And I trust you. Let me mark the area on your map. I'll let you know if I find anything.
Stab wounds? No, in fact, it didn't do that. Looks like you were ambushed and left for dead, Mike. Worse, left in the dark so you'd turn. Just killing you wasn't enough for these bastards. I should take these to Driscoll. You back? You find anything? Uh, letters. Took them off an infected in a carrier's uniform. Fuck, Mike. I mean, it's dangerous out there. But fuck! It's worse than that. The infected didn't kill him. He was stabbed and left to turn. Intentionally. So he was attacked. Well, that happens. As respected as we are, we're targeted for robbery because of the information we carry. People are always trying to disrupt the network. It wasn't a robbery. Since his deliveries were still on him, he must have been targeted. Mike didn't have any enemies. Well, based on all the disappearances lately, it's probably not Mike who has enemies. You mean someone's targeting the guild itself? No one would have the nerve. But what if they did? What then? If the guild were brought down, so would the network. That'd be chaos. Then we'd all better watch each other's backs. Hey, Professor. Got any new deliveries for me? Sure do. Here they are. And what about any history lessons? Maybe another time. The way things are going around here, I need to focus on the here and now. Ah, well, I totally get that. Okay. Later. <laughs> Package for you. Ferris, come quick. The storks arrived. The storks arrived. That's... Not a stork, honey. That's the carrier. Don't Nonsense! I know a stork when I see one. And it's brought our beautiful baby. Our gorgeous son. <laughs> huh? That's right, honey. He's beautiful. Look, he's yawning. I bet he's tired from his journey. You should put him to bed. Oh. But I want to rock him and hug him and squeeze him and... Oh, look, Ferris, look at those little apple cheeks. I could just eat him up. <laughs> That's right, Mummy could just eat up her little boy. Nom, 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 nom. Sweetheart? Oh. But you're right. I'll put him to bed. Still there, buddy? Just tell me I didn't just deliver a baby. No. Don't worry, it's just a doll. Oh, Ferris! His eyes! He has your eyes! I told you he would, honey. What's going on? Look, buddy, my wife recently lost our real son in childbirth. She hasn't been the same since. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. But for her, it hasn't quite sunk in yet, so... Someone recommended getting a doll for her to care for. This seems crazy, but we hope it might help her heal. Your son just pooped, Ferris! He even has the cutest poops! How sweet. Look, we just need some privacy, so uh, please keep this under your hat. Here's a little extra. I, I can't take this. Anyway, it'd be a violation of my carrier's oath if I said anything. I know, but look, she needs a doll to feel better, and I need this, so just take it. Understood. Thank you. So you're Driscoll's new golden boy. And you are? Someone who's had his eye on you. I get that a lot. 
smart ass. You're not much to look at. Now let me guess. You're Derek. In the flesh, loser. Terriers used to be heroes. That insignia used to mean something. Well, it sounds to me like your behavior wasn't all that heroic when you were a carrier. Fine. I made some mistakes, but I believed in what we did. Not like you, fucking pilgrim. I know what you're after. You're just trying to get some information and then bail. Maybe that's how it started, but that's not how it is now. Bullshit! I'm gonna show them what being a real carrier is all about. Teach everyone a lesson. And you? You're cocky. You'll slip up. And I'll be there when you do, pilgrim. Package for you. Thank you. Holy. I can't believe he got it. What's that? My fiance's ring. It was lost. Lost? I lost her. She was wearing it when the power went out. By the time it was back on, she turned and fled into the night. That's terrible. It was on her shambling corpse. Knowing that thing was wearing it, the ring I gave her tore me up. It was an obscenity. But I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't face her. Not like that. So who got a hold of the ring? Dinesh. He promised he'd track her down and get it for me. He came through. Dinesh would have been my best man. He's my best friend. Well, sounds like it. Hopefully you can start to put this past you. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. What? There's a note in here. It's from Dinesh's sister. She says... She says... D Dinesh was out too long. He was already turning when he came back. They had to kill him. But they found the ring clutched in his hand. Oh, I... I don't know what to say. You're back? What the hell happened? Infected? No, met Derek. Cheerful fellow. Not resentful at all. So, you talked. Do you think he's behind Mike's death and the other disappearances? It yeah, could be. Seems to have it out for the entire outfit, even though he claims to revere it. And he knows enough to understand what would happen if the guild were destroyed. That makes him very dangerous. So where is he? I don't know. I didn't follow him after. Came straight back here. There's more reasons to be careful, then. No use waiting around for something bad to happen. You have any deliveries for me? I do. But remember, you have more than Derek to worry about out there. Don't worry, Professor. Postmen have been delivering in adverse conditions for thousands of years. The paths we walk become roads. Isn't that the same? Well, I, but... The roads better not be bustling with the infected. Especially the types we're seeing now. Reports of new and, frankly, terrifying new creatures. Yeah, I've seen plenty. God help us. I wouldn't hold your breath for that. Carriers Guild. Thank you. Wait a moment, won't you please? Is someone at the door, Giselle? No, Mother. I was just locking it. Thank you for the letter. It's from my love, Keld. He lives on the other side of the city. We belong together. But my parents forbid it. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Seems like a local fashion these days. But I'm not sure what I can do for you. For one, you can just listen. I have no one else to talk to. Okay. And you can have this letter delivered. If he could afford to leave his family, we would be together. But he can't. So I'll go to him. The letter says where he should meet me. Okay. I'll take this back to the guild. for you, sir. Thanks. About time. Been quiet around here lately. Oh, honey, I, I could have gotten that. Stop that, Tanya. Don't you treat me like I'm useless, too. I, I didn't mean that. I, just, I just remember, I only lost a leg. I didn't become one of those things. N no. No. But, um... Well, um, who, who's the letter from? HQ. And I can tell you what it says before I open it. Yep. <laughs> I've been booted. No longer fit for duty. No, oh, honey. Oh, shut up. I don't need your pity. What I need is something to fucking do. Right now, I'm just a lame horse waiting to be shot. Well, maybe just give it some time, honey. There's plenty someone in your condition can... What did I just say? None of your fucking pity. I may have lost my leg, but I can still chase you down. I still got two hands to slap you with. So shut your fucking mouth! Hey, hot shot. How deliveries go? Uh, the usual. I was given a letter. I'll make sure that's processed. Thanks, Professor. Bloody hell, you're just scrambling up the ladder here. A few more rungs and you're gonna get promoted again. Nothing personal, hot shot, but there's no work today. Seems half my carriers are right. It's on the menu today, Professor. Ah, just a few deliveries. A few or a lot. I'll take whatever. Good man. Fine. People only had bows, arrows, and spears. They managed to survive. Carrier's Guild, here's a package for you. Oh my! I've been waiting for this. The new issue of Flickr Fanfare magazine. What's that? The best source for behind-the-scenes info on your favorite movies, their stars and directors. Oh look, it says here that Lana Kasdan has a new film coming out. And that Eggie Canby's performance in the Quigley is a tour de force. Uh, what's a movie? <laughs> you know if you read Flickr fanfare, my friend. I used to read them slavishly when I was younger. I recently found someone with a complete collection. I pay him to send me an issue a month. I feel like I'm back in the old days when movies were being made and magazine subscriptions were in vogue. I see. Interesting. Forgive my pathetic nostalgia, but... The arrival of these rags, and yes, they were rags even then, well, it takes me back. They're a monthly oasis from the pervasive drear around us. I can't argue with you there. So don't. Now, leave me. It says that Teddy Canterbury is having an affair with his leading lady, and he's married 
to a man. Oh, I swear the cat is just insatiable. Carrier with a letter for you? Excellent, thank you. Oh, very interesting. This is not quite the news I expected, but welcome nonetheless. What's that, ma'am? Forgive me if I'm not at liberty to say. As a carrier, I'm sure you of all people understand the value of information. Yes, yeah, certainly. The Guild has its network, but we overseers. I would say we are more like spiders. We crisscross the city with our webs and take notice when we feel a tug on this thread or that. I see. I'm sure you do. And yes, we occasionally feed upon the poor flies caught in our web, but we're just as likely to give them a treat as well. To keep our web strong, of course. Of course. So. Perhaps I won't share the tidbit that got caught on my web this time, but I will reward the fly who tugged on the thread and called it to my attention. Make sure my little fly is rewarded. And there's a little morsel for you as well. In one piece, I see. Of course. Uh, here's a message I was given. I'll take care of that. Now get your arse back here soon. These messages aren't going to deliver themselves. I'm restless, Professor. I need something to do. I got some deliveries for you. Sweet. Just watch yourself. There's something in the air. Like what? I can't put my finger on it. But watch your back. Carrier's Guild here with a letter. Thank you so much, son. So kind of you to bring it. Of course, ma'am. Happy to be a f I don't get much in the way of visitors. I'm sorry to- How's the bazaar these days? Still bustling? Oh, how it smelled. Some thought it rank, but not me. It's been so long. Well, at least you have people writing to you to tell you stories of the world outside your flat. Yes, yes. I'm a lucky woman at that. <laughs> Listen to me bending your ear. Forgive an old woman. I'll let you go. No trouble at all, ma'am. How's Mrs. Krasinski today, Carrier? She seemed fine, I guess. Why? Oh, I'm just wondering. She's all alone. Got no one. I worry about her. Well, I, I just delivered a letter, so she must have someone. Well, not really. I mean, I talk to her, but I also send those letters for her. The only other people she gets to talk to are you carriers. I had no idea. You're not supposed to, but I've been thinking lately. If something happens to me, who's going to look in on Mrs. Krasinski? She's so alone. I just thought you should know. Thanks. I have a letter for you. Ooh, look at this envelope, Berto. So pretty. I bet it's a wedding invitation. G 
God, I hope not. My tux rotted away years ago. How oh, hush. Yep, it's a wedding. And can you believe it? Garrett, you know him. Of course I do. What's he getting married for? That kid's played women like a loose game of three-card Monty for a while now. Stop. It's some girl named Cordelia. Cordelia? <laughs> I remember her from somewhere. You asked me that girl was selling not so much goods, but plenty of services, if you know what I mean. Oh, you're terrible. I'm sure she's very sweet and they'll make a great couple. If you say so. But I don't want to go to their wedding. That marriage will be over in a month. And besides, my tux rotted away years ago. Oh, don't you worry. It's an announcement, not an invitation. Oh, so they're just rubbing our noses in their so-called love. Well, I can live with that. It means we don't have to buy gifts. Besides, my tux... Oh, will you just please shut up about your tux? <laughs> We have a situation. What's going on? Another ambush. This time it's Jack. He just radioed an SOS. Oh, shit. Look, I know you guys don't get along, but... It doesn't matter. Just tell me where he is. I'm sending you the coordinates. Okay, I'm on it. If he calls again, tell him I'm on my way. There's no sign of Jack. Not even much of a struggle. Knock on some doors. See if anyone heard or saw anything. There's a family nearby. Who is it? What do you want? I'm from the Carrier's Guild. I need your help. What kind of help? A fellow Carrier was attacked nearby. Did you hear or see anything? Yes, I saw something. What I saw convinced me that it's death for me to tell another soul. You have nothing to fear. The Carrier's Guild will protect you. Can you? You want to protect us? Try clearing this floor of the infected. You know what it's like to live in a dark zone when monsters are lurking outside your front door all the time? My family and I are in enough danger without you added to our worries. So leave me be. Ask someone else. I'll clear them out. And you'll help me then? I'm sure you mean well, kid, but even if you succeeded, more would move in soon. You'll probably just get yourself killed in the process. Well, it's worth a shot. You got nothing to lose. You're either crazy or desperate. But do it. If you survive, come back. And we'll talk. Thank you. 
It's me. The infected are gone. For now. You've slain them? All of them? All of them. So you have. Fine, then. I will tell you of your friend. He was surprised by masked men. He couldn't even put up much of a fight. They just overwhelmed him and dragged him into a nearby building. Is it inhabited? I don't believe so. Except for the infected, of course. Oh, great. Okay, thank you. You may have saved a life today. And you have provided my family a respite from constant terror. Even if it lasts only for one night, we will be eternally grateful. like you carriers are as reliable as your reputation. Or should I say, predictable? I predict I'm gonna beat your ass. You're having a party and you didn't invite me. I'm hurt. What the? Derek, the prodigal carrier. So you are behind this after all. What are you talking about? I'm here to save your ass. Save your own ass. Kill them both, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Looks like I misjudged you. Same as everyone else. But, um... I told you I'd have my eye on you, Pilgrim. And I have. Especially since our first meeting. You're good. But when I saw you walking into a trap, I stepped in. I told you I'd be there when you slipped up. I, I guess I took it the wrong way. Okay. So you're not the one hunting down carriers? No. But I've been investigating. I've concluded it's someone on the inside. Fuck. Any idea who? I have my suspicions, but for now, I'm going after Jack. But you were following him too? Yeah, but I lost him after he was dragged in here, and then you showed up. He can't be far. Calling all carriers. HQ is under attack. Nearby carrier to HQ immediately. We need help! Oh, fuck. That's Driscoll. We gotta get back to HQ. Let's divide and conquer. You head to HQ and I'll find Jack. Okay, uh, radio in when you find him. I'm heading to HQ. Watch yourself, Pilgrim. And good luck. Welcome to the Dead Letter Office, punk. Wait. 
showed up when you did. Oh, if it weren't for Derek, I wouldn't have made it at all. Derek? But I thought... Yeah, so did I. But turns out all he wants is to come back to the guild. And killing carriers isn't the way to do it. Then who's behind all this? Well, Derek believes it's someone on the inside. I agree. Yeah, I'd find that hard to believe. Drisco, you gotta come see this. I me. I, I can't believe it. He had to be working for someone. He couldn't pull this off on his own. With personalities like Jack and Derek around, his nice guy routine kept him off everyone's radar. Ethan, it's Derek. I found Jack. He's dead. Now his killers are too, but I beat a confession from one of them before finishing him off. And what did you learn? Jaime was working for Waltz. Waltz is behind this? Waltz? I didn't see that coming. Thanks, Derek. Gather Jack's things if you can. I'll be in touch. Roger that, Pilgrim. So what is Waltz after? Destroying the carriers to disrupt the network? Waltz isn't a destroyer. He wants to control the network. He wants our archives all to himself. I've heard about the Carrier's Bible. Is there more? A lot more. Maps, other books, vast quantities of intel gathered over the years. Every little detail about the city and the surrounding areas as well. And Waltz is no doubt trying to gather complete information about the city. Maybe about its citizens. He's looking for something and I need to know what. I need to see the archives. That's information reserved for only the highest ranks of the Carrier's Guild. However, you've more than proven yourself. Earned your place among our elite Carriers. Come on. Your time has come, Hotshot. Welcome to the top tier of the Carrier's Guild ranks. Not bad for a pilgrim. You are, officially, the elite of the elite. The best of the best of the very best of the Guild. Our secrets are now your secrets. To honor this occasion, I have something for you. Congratulations, Hotshot. And I think what you were when you joined. Some snotty-nosed little punk. And what you are now. A carrier. <laughs> Makes me proud. With your fearless dedication and service, you've earned the right to ask of the rest of us how we can serve you. You get one favour, so ask away. And make it good, hotshot. I ask that Derek be reinstated as a carrier. He saved my life and even as an outcast had this guilt's back. He admits to his mistakes and I believe he'll work hard to make up for him. Well, if you say so, I'll believe you. We'll restore Derek immediately. Thank you. From now on, treat me like an open book. There is probably a great deal that you'd like to know. One answer's hot shot. Now's your chance to ask. A question for you, Professor. Aiden, heard the news? Ask away. Uh, meet me in the canteen. If I really am to thank you, I want to date in person. So, what's the real story on the Night Runners? Who were they? 
Heroes to most. Started out pretty simple, a group of soldiers who became infected during a mission. Now usually, infection spelled the end of a military career. Too much risk, especially with so many night operations. However, around this time, the military created something called inhibitors. Not only did they prolong the time you could spend in the dark, but also greatly enhanced motor skills and other senses. The downside was the side effects of inhibitors. They kicked the crap out of most people if they didn't outright kill you. Given a choice, most soldiers took the risk to remain in active duty and to continue to make a difference in the battle. That's why people consider them heroes. Not just because they did so much to help so many, but because they joined the revolution on the people's behalf. They were the real deal, Aiden. That's quite a story. So who's this Colonel Williams? Oh, yes. Colonel Chris Williams, a.k.a. The Butcher. Ooh, how do you earn that nickname? If you hadn't just asked me, I'd say you don't want to know. But since you asked, Williams was the right-hand man of General Pratt, the nominal head of security for the city. I say nominal because it was an open secret that Williams was Pratt's puppet master. Pratt was a nepotism promotion and of no practical military use. Growing bold, Williams ordered a chemical strike on the city. While Pratt was stuck at the bottom of a whiskey bottle, unable to cope with the conflict, the responsibility of military command, and really, well, anything not whiskey related. What happened next is common knowledge. Williams' attack triggered the revolution. With Pratt having abdicated all authority, Williams ordered the military to shoot civilians. Most of the soldiers refused his order, and the end of armed conflict came swiftly. But not before the colonel and many of his supporters made the dam his personal stronghold. Shortly after that, lucky for him, he took in Waltz. Wow, you a butcher indeed. Thanks for the information. So what really brought on the revolution? It had been building for a while. Under William's direction, the military was increasingly unconcerned with collateral damage or civilian fatalities. The chemical strike was the match that lit the bonfire. The military explanation for the chemical strike was to eliminate the infected in evacuated areas of the city. Fact is, most areas had not been evacuated. Crowds of survivors remained, huddled on roofs, sheltering in place. Citizens, but also undocumented refugees from all over Europe. There was no way to know who was healthy and who was infected. There was a massacre, and half the city's population was wiped out. Oh my God. It was a tragedy beyond comprehension. Was Williams that bloodthirsty and cruel? Was the military that disorganized that it didn't know its own evacuation plans? In the end, it doesn't really matter. Death and chaos enveloped the city, and those who survived had had enough. And so, as people have done throughout the ages, they rose up in revolution. <sighs> I hardly know what to say. Can you tell me any more about Major Matt? Before the revolution, Jack Matt was an undistinguished military major. He made his name by refusing William's order to shoot civilians. He managed to get most rank-and-file soldiers to join him and side him with the people and help in their revolution succeed. He's considered by many as not just a hero, but the city's saviour. That was then. Now, I hear, he's more and more after personal gain and to help the citizens. That sounds like he's on a power trip. It's too bad. So, what about this Rainer character? Character's right. He's responsible for bringing together all the trade unions necessary to get the wall built. This had him mixing with nearly everyone in the city, both the bigwigs and everyday people. He leveraged his role to make himself very, very rich. Which made him an unlikely revolutionary leader, but he became one nonetheless. He was... Ground zero for the rebellion. 
Although his true motivations have never quite been clear. He came out on top in any case and manages the supply chain for the peacekeepers. He's up there with Matt in influence. He's got exquisite taste and in the course of his duties manages to obtain all manner of rare artifacts his people come across. Well, he's become quite the collector. Hmm, sounds like a colorful individual. I'm looking for a girl named Mia. She'd be about my age now, <laughs> a little younger. Do you know anything about her? No, I'm afraid not. Anything else you can tell me about her? Yeah, she was one of Walter's experimental subjects. No, one of his victims, 15 years ago. There were more girls. The carriers know of one of them. It was hard to keep that one out of trouble. <laughs> Sounds like it could be her. Maybe. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. She goes by the name of Lawan. She hangs out with Frank, as far as I know. Oh, I see. Uh, thank you. Can you tell me anything about X-13? X-13? Interesting. Not quite, but listen to this. Back in the day, the military coded strategic locations around the city with an X and a number. This included sites like water towers, power stations. The higher the number, the more strategically important the location. But I've never heard of any location with a higher designation than X-9. So, what's strategically important about X-13? Have no idea. But I'll tell you, it's not a place for guys like you and me, lad. Hmm. I wonder what it means, then. Well, this has been quite an education. Thanks, Professor. No problem, kiddo. Wish more of my carriers were as curious as you. Most importantly, the butcher here, too. <laughs> Thanks, Aiden. You don't know what being back in the guild means to me. Don't thank me. You proved yourself. Maybe. But you made it happen. Here, take this. What's that? Eh, a little toy I whipped up for myself. I want you to have it. I call it Deliverance. And it's yours. Holy shit. Look at this. Thanks, man. Use it in good health. Or I'll find your corpse and steal it back, Pilt. Aiden. Roger that. You take care, Derek. <laughs>